Scorpios, what's up you sexy motherfuckers? Welcome to the Gypsy's Tower. We are doing your love reading for the week. I hope you're all doing well, my babies. I love you. You're the best. Keep going. Happy summer solstice and full moon. What do my Scorpios need to know and love this week? Remember, if this reading resonates, so please hit like and subscribe. And if not, you can book a reading with me at the Gypsy's Tower. Links below in the description. What does Scorpio need to know and love this week? Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know and love? Whoa, dang. Okay. Scorpios. Let's see. It's a lot, but we like a lot, right? That's what we do here. We over pull cards and we have fun. <laughs> Seriously though, I hope you guys are doing well and not letting these little demons get to your energy right now. I've been seeing it myself. Shit. People are just very much catty at this time. You can feel the energy picking up very heavy um, with the full moon especially, but no worries, Scorpios. And anyone sending black magic, negativity, hexes, spells, any bullshit our way, we return it back to sender times three. So mode it be. Let's get into this reading. Remember to take what resonates and leave the rest. Some of you are thinking about marriage or someone's thinking about marrying you, okay? Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords. The truth and how someone's passion is driven and who it's towards. What's coming towards Scorpios this week? Oh, of course, right? Past energy, right? Hopefully. Current, moving forward, future, the man. At the bottom, we have a snake and the clouds. So there's going to be something cleared up here when it comes to love for you, Scorpio. Okay? The gate is unlocking, clearing things up, mirroring your love. The storks return home. This is about returning to your soulmate. Mm -hmm. We have the storks, the swan, and the key to your heart opening. And someone wanting to open your heart. Notice the rose petal inside. Notice the rose he's holding. It's like someone wants to place some kind of sweetness with you because they want to return to you. But you see the truth about someone who's a snake. For energies here, we have the king and queen of wands, the queen of cups, the knight of cups. And that's it. The eight of pentacles, ace of cups, and the seven of wands. Someone is, you know, persistently trying to... Um, Fight for your attention. And I don't think they're getting their way, Scorpio. And so they're getting angry. Let's take a look. I can't make it up. Reunion with the wife. For some of you, this could be about reconciling in a marriage or just in a relationship. Or someone could be leaving a marriage to come towards you. I don't know. But we're going to find out, my loves. What's the mice? What is the mice? These relentless little mice. Children. <laughs> these are children. Of course they are because they're immature, right? Or these could just be kids in general. But we do have faithfulness in the rivers with the messenger and cheerfulness in the rivers. So it's someone that is like, they know they're not faithful and that they're not happy, but they keep trying to reach out to you and it's annoying. What is the compass for Scorpio? Melancholy, you feel stuck in one energy and you're moving out of it. You're getting the hell away from it. Spirit's been guiding you to do this. Something is dead and gone over. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Damn, these cards are going crazy. What is the male energy with the Ace of Cups? The old woman. Interesting. Um, but they're thinking about the young woman? What the fuck? <laughs> so the male is thinking about the young woman and not the old woman. But I'm getting an older couple. See that? Do you hear Salem out there? He's relentless. Salem. I'm trying to work, baby. And look at this. So one of you is younger, one of you, one of you is older, but this person is thinking about both, okay? You could be the masculine and you got these two energies thinking about you. What is the snake with the queen of wands? The journey? Mm -hmm. Again, faithfulness is in the reverse with the messenger and the young woman of thought. Falseness. Someone is studying you very hard. They're not happy for you or something here. 
or this person's been doing this for a long time. Someone's sneaking around your stuff too. Okay, so let's just get into that. Let's see what the hell's going on, Scorpio. I'm gonna give these a good shuffle. The whole last reading, I swear, was about like marriage. It was nothing but marriage cards coming out. The ring, I had it for both decks. Um, the bride, all of it. It was crazy. What is the, this annoying child or this annoying immature person? Because I know it's not a child. Someone might even be annoyed by your new beginning or something you're birthing. Okay, we have the repairs warns us against an assault. What? Which threaten and will occur sooner or later. What's at the bottom? This, it says the letter is a sign of good tidings. When near it indicates unexpected good fortune. So this was about, and then yeah, we have the cats here and the, and the woman. So if you're the feminine energy, it's saying um, this card represents you and the cat foretells flattery or personal injury and strife. So I'm kind of looking at these mice as these annoying little cats, right? Or maybe your cat's going to eat these mice. I don't fucking know. But the message that's coming through is making these people very angry. It has something to do with your money because we have the King of Pentacles here. And they want to break down your new beginning. They were trying to attack it. Whoa. And the Sun card's here now too, which vexes out any kind of negativity. But that's the worst fucking card. Mm -hmm. What is the compass with melancholy? The key. This is about assured success. Someone wanted you to procrastinate on something or someone wanted you stuck in this childlike energy and it's just not working for you. You're getting away from it. That's why the compass is here. It's like you've moved your direction away from this annoyance. And then at the bottom, we got the book and the ring and the wife. What the hell? So it says the bride is about a fulfillment of marriage if single the highest aim of marriage or commitment with the ring which is about rich and happy marriage and then the book which is discovery of a secret but these are three different characters the king of cups the knight of cups and the king of swords but that's pisces cancer libra virgo but this is someone secretly does want this marriage with you. They feel like you've unlocked their heart in some way, Scorpio. They gave you melancholy. They drained your light. You moved away from this person. Some of you are physically moving just because you don't like where you live now. Maybe you feel like the neighborhood you're in isn't safe or something for your child. Um, but in general, you're just getting away from a stuck energy. And I really like it. And you're unlocking doors. Mm -hmm. So what's the man with the old woman? <laughs> I'm so curious. <laughs> Flames on the hearth indicates good fortune and neutralizes any evil near evil cards near. Okay. And at the bottom here, we have the broken TV in the reverse with the coffin. It's like somebody really wanted you to be sick and ill. That's what both these cards talk about. Yeah, they really did. And they can't. They just can't. Look at this rugged beauty and happiness with the bouquet and the rose. They were trying to take this from you, Scorpio. Remember, you guys can zoom in to look at the cards as well. So this older woman could have been coaching this male, okay? Like, oh, go after her. She's got money. So whoever this masculine's mother is or ex-wife is toxic as shit, and they work together. They're moochers. I don't know why I'm hearing that. I don't know why I heard that. One more on this energy, just to be sure. The masculine. I mean, come on, I can't make it up. And at the bottom, secrets are coming out about a marriage and something about good health and a sudden, a sudden shock. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like this person was like trying to bring you bad luck or they were bringing bad karma in with them. So what's the snake with the journey? Oh, damn. The fish is an emblem of riches through stocks. Hmm. 
what's at the bottom the feminine energy so feminine you're here getting your riches you got a snake queen of wands who's on a journey to try and take your probably your masculine or your finances and that didn't work and there's news about this coming out to you that you you don't even care about because you've moved on and already put this to bed all right i like it but they're still very much interested in you scorpio mm-hmm and they think they've got some kind of strategy down packed to keep you introverted in some way. <laughs> Good luck with that. Seriously. What is this? Someone could be 37, 23. What is the annoyance here? What is the annoyance? A compromise, an agreement, reconciliation, aid, and a robbery. Yeah, this person knows about your good news, okay? And I think they wanted conflict for your profession and this illness, but they're going through natural disasters, and it could be that maybe someone got someone pregnant and they really didn't want to be with this person. One more on this, please, for Scorpio. Oh, damn. Someone is going to j -j 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 jail. This could be spiritual jail. This is something. And you're protected, Scorpio. You are protected from these energies. You're not blind. You see who they are. You're praying to your ancestors. You're doing what you're supposed to. You're very spiritual. You have goodness. And your wishes are coming true. So these are a couple of people that were working together to try to steal what was yours. I think that there was a masculine that reached out to another feminine to try to take you down in some way or make you jealous or steal something that was not theirs. But any in either way, it, you were treated unfairly. This person was a puppet and they're about to get in a lot of fucking trouble. Like your guides came down to help you, I feel, but this person that was being manipulated and trying to manipulate you is going to need some help. Yeah, because you love yourself for real. Mm-hmm. Yep, this person hates that. They really do, and they thought they could steal your light. Mm-mm, and your independence, no way. Tell me about this melancholy. And then the key. So we did see the key in the beginning. It's like maybe whatever this was unlocked your heart to go in another way. It was needed. Good news. Merit-making. Pride, family, ooh-wee, triumphant, okay, okay, I like this Scorpio. So with this pride card, I'm not really getting arrogancy right now, I'm getting you sticking up for your family, working hard for them, uh, knowing your self-worth, bonding, having a strong home, good news is coming in from your spirit guides about hard, your hard work and everything you do for your family and the ones that you love. Damn. One more on this. So that's why the compass is here. It's time to move into a new direction. The fourth is going to be important. Yeah. And they're saying stop. No, there's no more stagnation. There's no more pause. You are going forward. The compass is it's, it's moving you in a new direction. Whatever you were daydreaming about, I feel like you're going to get. Maybe you didn't think it was feasible, but it is. Tell me about this male looking towards money with the old woman. I don't even get this. What is this? Care, parenthood, support, nightmare, memory, conflict. This person has hella bad energy from their mom. Mm-hmm. And now they remember how you cared for them and they spent all that time trying to um have indifferences with you and cause disruptions and quarrels and they can't stop thinking about how they could have taken advantage of that in a good way and now it haunts them because look at you they didn't want to listen they didn't want to listen to you and they see you getting this lucky break now mm-hmm they're stressed because fate is not on their side they wanted to indulge in everybody and everything else and now they're gonna have an accident because they don't live and learn and they're gonna have no chill because they're lonely and they're scared and they're about to be sick yep there's evidence that this person was daydreaming about you 
knowing that they created a disaster out of this. So that's the male energy coming through in this reading. This could be someone else's male as well, you know. They have an idea. That was their idea. To come towards you and apologize. Make things better again. Or to take your damn money. Okay. What's at the bottom? Imagination and goals are in the reverse. With overload in the reverse. Sweetheart and homeless. Someone, I feel like someone sees you as like... They constantly dream about having this with you and they're realizing that they don't have goals. They're not putting in any effort and they're overly fantasizing about this connection. They need to get their shit together, but they took bribes while you were gaining what you wanted and they tried to do a ritual on you, this third wheel party, maybe against your real estate or your home, but their strategy failed because they're bullies. And you're going to have a marriage and vows. You're not mad and you're not ready for any kind of disturbance. You're about to triumph because you are okay. And these people are fucked. <laughs> what is the woman with the uh, fishes? Y'all going to be making some money, honey. Wherever you're traveling to, I feel like you are going to make a lot of money and be successful there. Or you're making money while traveling. Someone could have also been trying to copy your work. Like, I had a friend like that, like, as soon as she, old friend, sorry, uh, past tense, um, that knew as soon as I had a YouTube channel, was like, well, I'm just going to start putting myself out there, but then the minute that they see they don't have the the balls, they, they lose it, you know? Some people aren't meant for that. What is this accident? So just be aware that someone's being stopped that's trying to, like, keep this idea of keeping you stuck and copying what you do to make money. Ooh, prayer, religion. Oh, they messed up when they came for you. That's what it was because you have religion. That's what they're saying. This person wanted you to have an like some kind of accident on your journey. Um, a queen of wands or a snake in general. Mm-hmm. Who doesn't plant seeds? Let's see. What is this about? Oh, yeah, natural disaster risks survive. Mass. Yeah, they they bought you on multiple profiles. This is a feminine who's going through a lot of frustration in their life because of their own doing. Um, your spirituality is kicking their ass, Scorpio, because they really wanted you to have this accent or they really wanted to take from you. They could have had something to do with this. Justice, you live and learn. Whoever this person is, they can't stop your adventure. You're the, You're it. And you're not blind to this person's bullshit. You know they can't withdraw and that they're not sorry and they're not afraid. But they are hesitating with the collaboration because they know it could cause illness. And it probably already has. You poor little snake, you. But not for real. What is the outcome for the snake? A schedule. Management plans and organize. So they're mad. Because they don't know how to plan and organize and money manage. Yeah. Readiness in the reverse. Your gain. Your gift. You're relaxing and chilling. This person has no goals. They are literally copying you or trying to. Look at this person. Same energies. Trying to copy your origin. Your, what you've planted. Your gift. And what comes after that? They're about to be homeless. Yep. And you're about to be living it up. And they're going to be losing it. Some of you could be having a baby. I don't know. Or birthing something new. But they are terrified of that. They are mad. Everyone's screaming and yelling and freaking out about this new thing that's coming for you. Like, what is their problem? Plan and organize your life and quit. It's like this person schedules you. This person watches you so much. Why are they watching Scorpio so heavily? Like, what is... They're waiting for the perfect time. And they, they think that you won't know it's them. Like, they'll think it was... It was spirit. Like, looking stupid. Who is this? Yeah, this person's about to be sick, sick. Because they made a vow. And now they're going to be the devil's puppet. That's what I'm getting. And you're about to get lucky and go on this adventure. Again, you're not blind to something. You know what's going on. So if you've been feeling that kind of weirdness around you, like things just didn't seem right, I hope you know that this person's going through hell for what they did to you. 
Mm-hmm. They really thought they could get you. No, they're they're getting themselves. The get me got got shit. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go over to let's go to our love oracles. Y'all, I had to stop, okay, because I'm noticing this too. There is a masculine that's got two feminines that are annoying them, baby mamas probably, or this masculine got a woman pregnant that he wasn't expecting to, and now they're going off. So it's almost like they want to take it out on you because you left them, and this must have been a rebound. I know, right? All right. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I heard it through the grapevine. So I feel like you're getting news about someone here, for real. You're getting news about this snake while you're on a journey somewhere, but it's good news for you. So, <laughs> so if you guys are in like a any kind of law thing going on right now, you're winning. I just picked that up too. Any kind of case or anything like that. It's coming up for Scorpios this week. Hmm? What do they need to know? Blocked. Stuck in a relationship. Secret getaway. And what is the overall for Scorpio this week, please? The overall for Scorpio. Whoa, whoa. Children tried to pop out again. What is the overall? It like flipped and went back in the deck. Fighting. Ooh, we. Look at this. We got betrayal, divorce, red flag, grass wasn't greener, someone lied. Their wish did not come true. They don't want to talk to this person who they used to mess with after work. They're not heartbroken. And they don't want liquid courage, but they're going to drink. <laughs> who the fuck is this? <laughs> Someone betrayed their baby mama, I swear. That's what's going on. Mm -hmm. I cannot lie. I cannot lie. And now someone's going to stop flirting with someone because they probably got caught up. Or they've been getting signs and synchronicities that they're going to get caught up. What is this? Romantic dinner. Yeah, they don't want someone to find out about this date now. You see that, Scorpio? This womanizer who has a family. Mm-hmm. And someone's going to confess to you they've been stalking you. Or they're going to tell you someone's been watching you, Scorpio. That they can't stop talking about you. I'm picking up on a feminine that stalks you more than the masculine. And this person's like, would you just stop? Leave that girl alone or leave that guy alone. Why are you still, you know, that's what I'm getting. Because this person already has their cake and wants to eat it too. So what do they want with Scorpio? I think it's because you got new love and maybe a family and they can't flirt with you. So they want to come in and, and try to uh, persuade you or your person. We'll get into all that. But someone feels stuck in a relationship and feels blocked. I feel like you're on this secret getaway because there's been travel coming up for you. And there's a couple fighting about children or a child. What the hell? Different energy today. Then we got friendship, raised vibration, vibration and celebration. These are all the people that fucked with you. Like you're secretly away from this energy and they're like, I'm blocked. Scorpio blocked me. There's the feminine. There's the masculine. Ugh, I'm still stuck in a relationship and I don't know how to be alone. And then this fighting, which we'll find out who and what that is. Maybe it's these two karmics. What is blocked for this annoying person? Yeah, they're seeing that you're rejecting them. Get off our social medias. Get off our shit. Yeah, with your negative energy manipulating narcissists. Of course you're blocked. What's stuck in a relationship? Redemption, needing forgiveness and to redeem oneself. Release, move on, let go, trust your angels and trust your guidance. So this person's just not getting that they need to move on from you. Okay? They're not. They want redemption. What secret getaway for Scorpio? I love it. Ooh, marriage, forever commitment. Are you guys having a destination wedding and telepathy? Huh, you could meet someone while you're traveling, Scorpio, and have a really deep connection to them. Um, what else am I getting from this? A honeymoon? Yeah, this could be like a honeymoon, meeting someone while you're traveling, destination wedding, Possible anniversary? What's fighting? What the hell is fighting? 
compromise, coming back together, making it work, physical distance and emotional distance, spending time with you, union coming together, more than one option in love. And then it's after this retreat, Scorpio. So you come back from some kind of retreat, getting away, travel, new experiences, and then this person here needs to say a lot. And they are going to be chasing you the whole time. And they know they have more, more than one option in love, but they want to come in between your union if you have one. If not, they just want that with you and quality time. Yeah, look at this. I can't. Third party, right at the bottom. With surrender flow, go with the flow. So this person wants to fight with you, but can't. So they're, they're waiting for you to come back from something or out of something so they can try to compromise. But you're trying to create this distance. I see you with the rejection and distance. So, hmm, maybe they'll get it. I don't know, Scorpio. I don't know. This person could be fighting with another person because they're telling them not to come towards you. Like, you better not go back towards Scorpio. So this could be tearing apart someone's family dynamic, but it's their own fault. Yeah. What's toxicity with rejection? Thank God this person's blocked, right, Scorpio? Who is this B-I-T-C-H? Irresponsible, lack of accountability, careless about the consequences of their actions. You can't rely on them. Ex-lover and mental prison. Someone who is trapped in their head may suffer from mental illness and self-limiting beliefs. And yes, you are unimpressed. Okay, you do not care about that. What is redemption with release and stuck in a relationship? It's like someone might have tried to fix something and they just couldn't. They let it go. They're like, I'm not beating a dead horse. Yeah, unimpressed. Doesn't care about the mundane. Being too good for something. Not interested. Fake. Someone who isn't themselves to gain friends and popularity. They seem very nice to everyone, yet trash talks them behind their back in order to improve their social status. So people are releasing this person too. Yeah, divination spying. So there is a feminine here, maybe a masculine who is divination spying on you, okay? Someone is consulting the tarot to get information on you, getting readings on you and asking a psychic, and they're fake. I'm also getting a fake divination person telling this person what to do. So someone doesn't know how to read the cards, and they're lying, and you're definitely unimpressed by this person who's trying to mock your energy. Yeah, they want to control you or the situation, this distorted masculine who's projecting because you're a role model and you're not generous to them, but you probably were. What's marriage commitment and telepathy with secret getaway? Maybe someone knows you're leaving them to go towards commitment and it scares them because they have this telepathic energy with you. What is it? Truth unveiled. The truth has been or will be revealed in the situation soon. Secrets have been kept hidden that will come out. A deranged, weird, strange, and twisted individual. Yeah, they, they don't know what's going on. They're just hooked on you. They're a groupie. They have regrets, and now they're trying to copy your style because they don't have any confidence in their life, and there's no evidence that they ever had. And they're crying because they betrayed themselves and stayed in a toxic connection, and they're off the grid. And no, they're not your match. Whoever this deranged B-I-T-C-H is, that's the one who's blocked, I feel. What is this? Yeah, you're intelligent, and they know that. Keep shining. Your light irritates their toxic demons. Lies are being spread. Fake rumors have been going around about you or the situation. All lies, no facts. Hater wants to knock you down a size. Simply cannot be happy for your success. Cloud nine in the reverse and gorgeous and chilling. So they're mad that you're chilling, and they're hiding it because they know they wanted you to get a divorce or they wanted to be more than friends. They hide that shit because they're intimidated, and you ain't even paying attention, Scorpio. Look at you. Look at you. While they're over here, like, get out of here. Ugh. Ugh. The truth is that Scorpio is smart and you're deranged. And everyone can see that. Yeah. What is the compromise coming back together in distance after a fight? Walking away. Yeah, Scorpio, do your thing. From a narcissist, inflated sense of self-importance, complete disregard for another's feelings, always needing attention. Oh, they said this has been going on since this kid or this person was a child. Mm. Daydreaming of you, though. Someone cannot get you off their mind, attracted to you, constantly thinks of being with you romantically. 
Hmm. Yeah, someone knows they can't copy your style here or have the same confidence you have, Scorpio. What's the overall energy this week for Scorpio? What do they need to know? Heartbreaker. A person who breaks hearts easily. Everyone wants them, but not everyone can have them. And your ex is in hell over that. Oh, I got two here. Always partying and playing games in the reverse with confidence. So someone was trying to say this about you, this fake person that was trying to gain popularity. And now everyone sees that's not true. Hmm. Fake friends is at the bottom with Mary. It says, pretend to be buddy-buddy when you come around, but talk smack about you when you leave because you weren't giving them any money. Damn. One more on this intelligent energy with truth unveiled. It's like you already knew this person was messed up. Yeah, you're balling, Scorpio, because you're smart. You have a luxurious lifestyle, wanting and having the most expensive things. Pockets full. And yeah, this person's crying. Crying over you, crying over everything. Having legal issues because they're not spiritually woke, digging for gold, and using witchcraft to try to cause a divorce or fuck with someone's money. Ew. Like, where? why do they keep making these? They should be out of style by now. Let's get into the tarot. All right, Scorpios. Let's see what is coming up for Scorpios in love from this weekend throughout the week. What do Scorpios need to know? Them and the person on their minds. Or just in general, who's coming towards my Scorpios? Ooh, y'all got the ten of swords. You said bye-bye. I knew you walked away from something, but it's the end. It's over. Whatever this is, right? Thank God. The devil. Oh, my God. Look. We ain't going. Remember the repairs we saw in the beginning? Mm-hmm. This is uncertainty and moving way too quickly without knowing what the hell you're doing. This isn't you, Scorpio. This is a devil energy around you that you've turned your back on because they backstabbed you so many times trying to breadcrumb you and thought they'd have this victory. Aries, Leo, Sag, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Or this was an Aries, Leo, Sag, yeah, working together with an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Okay. But you're not stuck in your head about this and you're not without. And I think that's why this person's mad. But their plan was to do something very quickly and manipulate the situation so they could stab you in the back. But I feel like this has already happened, like I said. Okay, so just want you to know I see it. And cross watchers, we see you. Mm -hmm. It's coming for you. Yeah, whatever you sent out is coming back to you. And the devil will turn you into the puppet. Yeah. Who's coming towards Scorpio? Oh, yeah, see? Look at this conflict, competition, people trying to beat you or something at something here at work. Yeah, Ten of Cups, it has to do with love. Family, emotional fulfillment. Mm-hmm. So you Ten of Swords this person, or I mean, they Ten of Swords you, but now they're forced to see your Five of Cups. I'm sorry, you're Ten of Cups, shit. And they're fighting. They'll never have that kind of emotional fulfillment again. It's like even if they had it, they enjoy the competition. Literally, you don't. This person wants to apologize to you. Mm -hmm. I see that. Yeah, they see the truth. They see the truth that they're not stable. They're still hanging on to heartbreak. You're the empress. They missed an opportunity, whether you're an emperor or an empress, they see that you were tapped into your feminine side as well, and they were too scared. But the wheel spun in your favor, and they're all forced to see that. You see? Could have been happening since Taurus season. What's crowning this connection? Ooh, the Queen of Cups. She sure didn't want to come out in the reverse. What's in the central? Mm, the Knight of Wands. Get it, Scorpio. Your creativity is heightened. Hey, through pain, you can create a lot. Turn straw into gold. And the Seven of Wands in the foundation. I'm telling you, you're about to be lit intuitively, Scorpio. Yes, you are. But somebody does want to attack you, it looks like. They're not grounded in their work. They don't have good ideas or they're like studying you but they can't do something like you look at that page of swords they're also stalking you and studying you and realizing something isn't working for them 
if you deal with an earth sign, they want your earth sign, but the earth sign doesn't want them. Like they've never paid attention to them or this person. Yeah, Virgo's here as well. So we got the Knight of Swords, Death, the Moon, and the Ace of Wands. Like, damn. Someone is getting on their high horse, running towards Scorpio. Mm hmm And it's like they can't find you. It's like you've cut these people off energetically and they're trying to get back to your spark, Scorpio. Your mystery, your wisdom, and how you do things. But this door is locked on them. They can't come back in here is how Spirit's putting it to me. You manifested this. Mm -hmm. This is yours to have. And they feel like it's a secret, but it's not. It's your intuition. It's your strong subconscious. But to them, it's secrets and mystery, you know, and they're mad about that. And so I feel like they want to take action. They have this ambition to, um, I feel like, run towards you, but they have a single minded kind of vibe. So that's why they can't do what you do. You've had how many um, life cycles? That's why the death card is here right next to this Knight of Swords. It's like you need to slowly roll. You haven't even tried yet. You know, you're just trying to jump into something, but you got to have the gift. The gift of sight, the gift of intuition. So this is what's coming in for you, especially with this full moon, Scorpio. This is like a, a heightened moment for you. Mm -hmm. Quite heightened. Yeah, I feel like you're going to be celebrating a lot here. Mm -hmm. All right, let's put this up and start clarifying. I don't want to drag it out too much today. <laughs> All right, let's come toward the Scorpio's hard work, success, and... Maybe a new home, a party, stability, and celebration. Four of Wands with the Eight of Pentacles. You're going to be celebrating your work. Maybe moving for work. But this is something you just came out of was very dark, Scorpio. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. You'll know. Someone was very egotistical and trying to restrict you and keep you trapped in your fear and stab you in the back. No one wants to be trapped in sadness with you, Satan. So what's happening for Scorpio in all of this? The Ace of Cups, say woo! <laughs> and the Page of Pentacles, you're learning something new and doing what you love. Someone's telling you they love you, Scorpio. There's joy and creativity. What's this? The Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. You won't be single for much longer, Scorpio, if you are single, okay? You're also working yourself too hard. Don't let the devil get in your head and start making you think you got to work harder than you need to. Take a little break, okay? Yeah. You've got new love and a new beginning at the bottom of the deck. The lovers, the ace of pentacles, and the fool. This is you. This is what you're going to be celebrating after leaving this behind. It could have been someone in your space here, like a Capricorn that's not financially independent. It was copying your style. I'm getting that too. And that's, that's going to bed now. What else? Yeah, definitely Capricorn here, Paige. And the devil. This is Capricorn energy with the Nine of Pentacles. So this was a feminine Capricorn that studied you but couldn't do something like you and made a deal with the devil. Yeah, King of Wands. You rule whatever this is. You have high intuition. And this person, I really do feel, Scorpio. This could have been someone you used to be friends with or mess with here. Aries, Leo, Sag, Pisces, Capricorn, right? We even have the King of Wands here. But it's like you told these people no. No. Like, this isn't what, this isn't meant for me. You're not meant for me. And you listen to your intuition. You weren't carrying anyone's burdens. You also weren't letting them lay them, lay them on you. And I feel like this person went to like a fake high priestess to get info. Like this, this person doesn't even know what they're doing, Scorpio. And they want to mock your creativity or steal your love and light. The king of wands is pointing you in a new direction. But I feel like this is your create, your creativity levels right now. And the person who can't copy your creativity or pull fruit from your tree. Tell me more. The Six of Pentacles in the reverse. So anyone who is breadcrumbing you or trying to create fantasy or confusion in your life. Like, I never liked the way she was looking. It's like she knows she's manipulating that person's emotions. Whatever that girl picks is just not going to be right, she feels. I know it. Like, she knows. It's all bullshit. That's what I get with this. And it's like, you're not stuck in your head about these people that are lost at all. You really could care less. You're not working with this group. You don't want to have anything to do with them. Mm-hmm. You've moved on. But yeah, with the Six of Pentacles in the reverse, you realize that they're, they're selfish, they're uncharitable, and they're not kind. 
And these people, they don't pay their debts. They just make them. And you're the one being creative, loving yourself, and learning something new. And letting go of toxic things, putting them to bed. <laughs> What's the five of wands with the ten of cups? The eight of wands in the reverse. And what? The page of swords. Oh my gosh, this person's not telling you. They stalk you like crazy, Scorpio. They've had nothing but setbacks and instability. They wanted that for you. That's why they were trying to create conflict, but you're still living your best life. Wish fulfillment here. Mm -hmm. they, they wanted you to fail. They wanted you to fail in something. Five of Swords with justice in the reverse. This person could have been working with a Libra or an Aquarius or a Gemini, or they could be all those, but oh, the Five of Swords in the reverse. It's deceit. Resentment towards my well it's not in the reverse but if justice was served right these people would feel it back and i feel like they're about to because whatever they're trying to do to you behind your back is unfair and that's why they're watching you and not saying anything and trying to get people to create conflict with them and it's almost like you can see them doing this scorpio mm -hmm. they're also studying you like i said but they can't get the words out or they don't know what they're doing. They're having a lot of setbacks, though. And they're frustrated. Mmm. Knight of Swords in the reverse. In the Fool. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Three of Wands in the reverse with Judgment. And there you are looking amazing, my babies. The Hero Font, the King of Cups, and Judgment. There's your cards. Your deep spirituality and your knowing. Unless you have Taurus in your chart. But otherwise, the other two are. You know that. So you're moving with love. Okay, you feel whole on your own. You don't need anybody else. You're not insecure. You're also very loving and balanced at this time. And people like what you have to say. And I feel like you're you're firing creatively as well. Look at how much fun the judgment card is having. It's like, I'm so happy that I'm here. I'm so happy for my spirituality and who I am and what I've created. And good for you, Scorpio. You should be proud. But on another note, we got this energy here. Okay. Self-doubt, uncertainty, and obstacles. And it's whoever this energy is here, okay? Because it keeps coming up. Um... <laughs> Someone's getting impatient, and they're losing their focus, and they're becoming unpredictable because they know they can't say nothing to you. This is the person who's blocked. They stalk you like crazy. Yes, this could be an Aries with the full card. Um who maybe thinks they're going to one-up you in some way, but they think they're getting away with stalking you. An Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Aries. Mm-hmm. And we got, remember, we got the snake here too, Queen of Wands, Five of Wands, Ace of Wands. It's all fire in this damn reading today. So what is this? They want this new beginning with you, but they don't know what to say, and they keep staring at you. And then you got someone here who's trying to mock your energy and can't. So tell me what's going on here for the for the Scorpios today. The Six of Wands. Whoever this person is, they can't have a victory with you. Okay? You've completed a cycle, Scorpio. You know the secrets. You hold all the tools. Damn, you're getting a good reading today. Mm-hmm. You know the secret. You've completed a cycle spiritually. The moon and the magician, you're manifesting, you have inner guidance, you're resourceful. Not only that, you're lifting any kind of illusions that are there, you know the difference, and that brings you emotional fulfillment. And these people want to try to create drama. That's why we got the five of wands, but then the six of wands is in the reverse, which is saying, um, you know, that they're not, that they're going to fail. They have too much self-doubt and they're very pessimistic. They can't. They just can't. They can keep watching though, sure, but I would just block them, Scorpio, to be honest with you. Because <laughs> I think this is someone you blocked and they don't like it because you're like coming up now. These can even be like family members or something too with the Ten of Pentacles that are like discontent. It'd be an earth sign in your family or a water sign in your family that's discontent, but this fire sign is actually trying to um, use a manipulation tactic. Like, they talk to this air sign secretively about what they want to do to you or what they know about you. But really, people are starting to see that this person's sad inside. That they wish they had a victory. 
Notice how there's two sixes in the reverse, right? This person was trying to manipulate you to give to them, but you didn't, and you stopped or something. What's the Queen of Cups? The Chariot, Cancer, the Devil. Oh my God. And the King of Pentacles in the reverse with Justice upright and the Five of Swords in the reverse, the Page of Wands in the reverse. So this is an old third party situation from the past, Scorpio. Six of Cups, that's Sun and Scorpio. But I'm gonna, I gotta look at this for a minute. Yeah, you definitely let go of some people that were egotistical, uncooperative, um, creating a lot of disharmony in your space here. And then this like rebellious energies around you, the page of wands in the reverse. So yeah, it's like you had people from your past that you let go of, you weren't going to work with. They were too rebellious. And then you get this five of swords in the reverse, which if you look at it upright, the energy is speaking ill will, you know, that's what I'm seeing here. It's like not, it's, it's loss and conflict and indecision. And in the reverse, it's even worse. It's resentment. So spirit saying just for this person, like trying to, to rush you into this devil energy, you know, and maybe take something that was yours or a commitment or your money or your status, they're getting justice. Yes, they are. This is the sign right here with the Six of Cups. So you know this person. You let them go. Old third-party constructs. Immature energy. Tried, but now it's going back to them for studying you. And justice is being served. So they could even be going to jail. Whoever this person is, their karma could be going to jail. Especially with the Chariot card here. That can represent the, the police sometimes. So someone's moving very, very quickly here, and the faster they move, the more they're going to lose. They're going to have instability, and they're corrupt. Cancer, Capricorn. Mm-hmm. They're corrupt. Pisces, too. Pisces, Cancer, and Capricorn are corrupt. Corrupted energies. Mm-mm, Scorpio. <laughs> Yeah, Ace of Wands, they, they don't like that you have this, whatever this is, the spark, the light. What's the Knight of Wands? I see you enjoying yourself and protecting your energy here, Scorpio. What is the Knight of Wands? Dance, get out and have some fun, my loves. Temperance in the reverse, the High Priestess in the reverse, the Hermit in the reverse. Oh my God. And the Empress is in the reverse and you don't even care. You know someone was selfish and lied to you. There's the Knight of Wands, Wheel of Fortune. I feel like this is where you're going, right? So then we get this Nine of Cups, Cancer, Ace of Swords. Someone was lying about what actually made them happy here. And they were very overindulgent. And it could have been a Cancer Pisces, right? Or an Aries Leo Sag, but I'm not feeling that yet until I get here. Someone is mad that the King of Cups doesn't want them. Or the Empress is mad that she can't be like you. Because she's in the reverse. She's not a real Empress. It's also Taurus. Hmm. Why this Five of Wands? Why so much conflict and competition here for what you're doing, Scorpio? These hoes can't keep up. They're mad as hell. Look at the fucking floors on fire. And they can't even get out of it. They're trying to crawl out of it. They don't know what they're doing. So you need to look out for a Taurus, a Sag, a Pisces, and a fucking Virgo. Or someone who has all this in their chart. Yeah, this is insane to me. This is someone's ex-wife, baby mama, mama. Oh, let me meditate on this, Scorpio, please. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. This person does not care what it takes. Can I just say that? They have so much impatience. They're reckless. They have a hidden agenda. Their intuition is blocked. And they are completely paranoid. They might put up a front. Like they got it like that. But they don't. And they are so mad that you're enjoying yourself. Like they really can't stop rebelling against your energy. They're not going to win this fight. Look at you. You're so unbothered. Because you know these people are lying to themselves, Scorpio, about their real wish fulfillment. They really just want 
they want your skill set or something that you do because if you look at this upright i feel like this is you you know like this is your energy your balance you're down to earth you're the natural high priestess you're a born um healer scorpio you're born with that intuition i feel even more so over pisces because of all the life cycles we have we, we learn a lot more but this person is like no mm -mm. they are stuck stuck so please watch out for any of those energies trying to disrupt your happiness and peace, especially if you are doing something fun, just turn the phone off. <laughs> What's the seven of wands? Meditation. Mm -hmm. Meditation is definitely dropping a lot of the conflict that's coming towards you energetically. Uh huh. What's seven of wands for Scorpio this week? Hmm. Getting out of your head, getting your wish fulfillment. And this fire sign giving up on their bullshit and their magic because the truth is coming out about them with this full moon. Mm-hmm. Releasing fear and anxiety. Seeing the truth. Secrets coming out. The magician in the reverse. Manipulation. Um, deceit. Bad intentions. Knight of Wands in the reverse. The player. The hoe. The Aries Leo Sag we've been talking about who won't complete life cycles and is not a part of your world. So this person is at a distance. That did come up physical distance, emotional distance. This person's been trying to manipulate the energy. And I only say that because look at this. How many times did they try it? You know, like how many times? Now they're trapped. They are trapped because this is what they wanted for you. If what they were doing worked, Scorpio, this is how you'd be looking. Okay. This is how you'd be looking. But because this person's shit don't work, period, you're still getting what you want. And they're shocked. They're like, Scorpio still getting their wish fulfillment? How is this possible? They're the Nine of Wands. You're the Nine of Cups. And what's between the two of you? The Eight of Swords. You moving forward, looking for change and focus. This person's still trying, though, Scorpio. That last time is going to be their last time because the devil's coming to collect. Mm-hmm. And protecting your energy is what this was all about in the first place. So if you've done any kind of cleansing, cord cutting, anything like that, it's definitely working out in your favor. Yeah, you are the empress. They they aren't, though. They wish they could be like you. What's the Ace of Wands for Scorpio this week? What is the sexy energy over here? What is the Ace of Wands? Oh, the Ten of Pentacles. Two of Cups in the reverse. And the Six of Swords. So some of you might have recently ran into someone that you thought could be a possible love option. And you're like, nah. Mm -mm. I feel like you stuck where you were. For some of you, like if you were in a marriage or just single, you stuck with that. Because this new love wasn't it for you. You knew you had to move on. And yes, this is happening by the full moon. But someone is very much so... Feeling this disharmony from you, Scorpio. They miss the passion between the two of you. But they see that you're walking away and going towards what makes you happy. <laughs> I love this reading today. Yeah. Yes, I do. Let's put this here. And look at your love oracles. I already know what the top one is. But let's start here. It says healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. Then we have forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events. For life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. Balance. Love is not always about agreeing for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. Yin and yang energy. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. Yeah, there's something about you finding peace this week, Scorpio. A nice, restful time. Maybe even a trip for some of you. And there's just people that are like trying to, you know, come in and mess with you because they see you're getting good news. A message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light and I love you. That could be a past loved one for some of you I'm channeling. Mm -hmm. When you feel the sunlight hit your face, you know I'm there. Something like that. Damn. That was deep. I almost want to cry. Oh, it says, look deep within your heart. You'll feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. 
This person's in love with you, Scorpio. And then it says, when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. That's right. And then soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. That's what, that's what Scorpio is manifesting this week. You're powerful as hell this week, Scorpio. I can't wait to read your comments. What are you guys up to? All right. Let's see what's coming up for you guys this week. What's the tea? Oh, I just saw Lucky Break. I can't make it up. It's right here. Where to go? Shit. Where to go? Right here. Lucky Break. And someone is mad. Mm -hmm. We don't care. Scorpio, do we? No. Say, so we got to keep moving. We got shit to do here. We got goals to accomplish. And then we got a snack and a friend. I mean, you might have a friend that was on the uh, down low, Scorpio. That could be this hater copycat. I don't know. Probably is, to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. They said maybe that Knight of Wands. So, what is this person hiding from Scorpio? What is this person hiding from Scorpio? What do they not want them to know? Because <laughs> you know they hide a lot from us. Honey moving. Honey mooning. Why did I say that? Love on the brain. Talking often. Feeling all the feels. Reading up. Doing the research. Learning more and gaining insight. They're watching you. Rebound. Flighty, temporary option, unpredictable intentions. And then at the bottom, we got Bonnie and Clyde, ride or die, us against the world, dedicated partnership. So what this person isn't telling you is that they're trying to fill that void and they can't, Scorpio, obviously. And um, it's you. And now they want to read up on you, watch you, because you're probably doing something that's not them. Right. And you're happy now. You see this card. See how happy these people are. And then you got one person studying you here. And then I'm the rebound, but saying you're their person. Mm -mm, get out of here. What kind of delusional narcissist is this? All right. That's what they didn't want you to know. What are their intentions towards Scorpio? <laughs> what is their intention? They just said your, their tricks didn't work on you. It says warning signs take heed. Risky situation. Throwing shade. Criticizing. Disrespect. Judgmental. Dating scene, casual dates, keeping options open, going with the flow. And then we got key player, important person playing an essential role, irreplaceable. So they know you're their Bonnie to their Clyde or Clyde to their Bonnie. Um, you got another person here that is disrespecting and reading up on everything that you do. This person, again, these, these are the same energies, but these are two different ones. Is how spirit's putting it to me. So your ex is in the dating scene, but you're the main one. Then you have a feminine that's reading up on you and throwing shade and judgmental. And then you're out here honeymooning and having fun, but they're saying there could be a risky situation. But this is what they're saying about this person and their intentions. So you just need to know that this is the kind of energy they're in. Okay? What is the overall for this week for Scorpio? What is the overall? I'm going to shuffle one more time. What is the overall for Scorpio this week? Slay, succeeding, on point, and killing it, dominating the competition. Lucky break again, Scorpio. Good fortune, good things coming, turning point. Trashed. Ew. Rejection, taking out the trash, kicking to the curb. So people are kicking this person to the curb. And the person who's been reading up on you and throwing shade is seeing your good fortune. What? Love bombing, overly attentive, showered with affection for personal gain. Oh, yeah, this person's coming to love bomb you after they got trashed by someone else. Yeah, bye, Felicia. Extra. Peace and out. Thank you, next. Leaving, not caring. Overdoing it, trying too hard. Unnecessary and dramatic. That's who this person is. Let's put these back in. I want one more row for what's coming towards Scorpio this week. Bye, Felicia. Peace and out. Thank you. Next. Bounce back. Perseverance. Making a comeback, but they can't. Giving heart. Showing love. Caring action. Selfless gestures. They're going to be sending you gifts, Scorpio. But there's infidelity. Caught cheating and betrayal. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, yes. And you're not people pleasing anyone. You will be getting some phone calls. But someone's not wanting you to flatline on them or create distance. All right. I'm also seeing, too, that... Someone's not going to flake out on this connection with you. 
but someone did. And this is the person who I feel wants to love bomb you who got trashed by someone else. Mm. Yikes. But yeah, they did pick this person over you in the past for sure. But now they're they're realizing their choices. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Oh my god, Scorpio. Oh, who are these rats? Who are these rats? Let's see how this person's currently feeling in your energy. Clueless, like a dummy, even though they know they're dumb. Like, they know they do this on purpose. They just like to see who's going to take, you know? Like, who can I hook this time? Who's going to be stupid enough to fall for this shit? <laughs> no one. The fuck? Grow up. Tell me about the past person. What the hell's their problem? Forever change. You changed my life without even trying. The old me is dead and gone. New love. Forgive me. I found a new love. One that makes me feel alive and angry. I'm angry at myself and sometimes you for how things turned out. And arrogancy. If I don't get what I want from you, I'll get it from someone else. Well, there's your truth, right? Oh my God. Who is calling me? Oh, hang on, guys. See? Mm-mm. Ignore. We don't do that shit. Not when I'm working. Mm-mm. Unless it's my kids. And it's not, so. All right. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're done with that. Let's look at past versus new, okay? Yeah, this is the person coming towards you guys. Fighting it. The harder I try to resist you, the weaker I seem to be. Your love has captured me. Everywhere I look, I see your face and only you. I'm not seeing anyone else if that's what you're wondering. This is what's coming for you. Someone who can hold back. Someone that wants you and tells you that they want you. Doesn't put you on the back burner and wait for you to change them and then go... Okay, Scorpio, I want you. But if I don't get what I want from you, I'll get it from someone else. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> uh -uh. No, baby. Go home. Go back home to your distorted feminine or your distorted mama. I don't know. But don't come over here with that. Okay. Yeah, someone is losing it because they're not as creative as you. They're having sleepless nights. I don't know why this is coming up, but it's a big thing this week. I've even been, I think I saw it in a couple other readings this morning, too. Mm -hmm. All right, tell us about the past person, and then we'll look at new. Past person for Scorpio, what do they need to know? What are their intentions? It says, unhealthy choices, bad eating habits, focus on your health. Be careful who and what you let in. So your past person's got something, okay? Radiant sun, confidence, success, enthusiasm, optimism, and fulfillment. Yeah, they're going to try to bring this to you. Uh-uh. Yeah, trick or treat, not playing game or playing games, not serious, unsure of their intentions. So there you go. Okay, something about Leo season and around your birthday. Yeah, this person has two hearts. They don't care. Falling in love, the feeling is mutual, equal effort. But that's for someone who's actually, you know, in it. But this person's holding on to them. I feel like they're collecting them. I guess I thought I saw a collector of hearts, not two hearts. But you're gonna have two hearts, huh, Scorpio? <laughs> Tell me about new. Not amused, fed up, don't care anymore, hard to please. Left out in the cold, scarcity mindset, ready to give up, emotional material loss. Creativity, gateway to creation, creative solutions, ideas, a strong urge to express yourself. Hmm. So the new person you're telling that if they don't get their shit together, you're going to leave them too? Damn, Scorpio! You said, I'm not carrying motherfucking burdens in your drama. Circus is in town. That's what it says. It says, responsibility is carrying old baggage, clinging to unhealthy relationship and drama out of control and predictable situation. You're like, no, I want equal effort. I'm not doing the drama. So you are, you're telling some people it's time. You can make that sacrifice and make a difficult decision. We can be friends first, but I'm relying on the cosmos and I'll be right here waiting for my love, but I'm not going toward you. I heard that, Scorpio. <laughs> Damn. Look, as soon as I split the deck, sacrifice and proper offering. You better give me what I said. <laughs> or else. Tell them, Scorpio. What's the overall energy then? <laughs> you guys are so cute. Epiphany, just like the other reading. Discovery or realization, sudden insight into reality. Dig deep with him for answers. Oh, the sacred emerald, divine love, receiving abundance, heart chakra activation. 
in sacred cycles, letting go of the old and honoring the cycle you're in. What goes around comes around. And look at this. Your spirit guides are here to help you from this toxic B-I-T-C-H who's coming up again. Divine assistance, Midas touch, attracting helpful people. And it's protecting you from this. From this scheming voodoo wannabe priestess. Yeah, she's a wannabe. She doesn't even have the proper tools. Or maybe, maybe she thought she did, Scorpio. I don't know. But she don't. She don't got it. And this is what you're going to see. You're going to see someone's shit fall apart. And I think this is the, the news you're getting about, about that snake. That's going to make you happy. You're getting good news this week. Don't forget it, okay? But this person here is trying to manipulate your situation. They may have tried to take your hair or something. I don't know, okay? But watch out for this uh, feminine in your energy here. I don't like her at all. She's very scheming. And yeah, it's happening by the full moon where she's going to have these negative emotions and be staring at your photographs, hoping she can manifest something. Yeah. This wannabe high maintenance who doesn't take good care of herself and has bad hygiene. It says photographs, memories, nostalgia, the past returns, negative emotions, anger and resentment, lone wolf, happy single, and spiritual death. So this is a female that nobody really fucks with because she's so negative. Like, this person probably doesn't have a thing to care about but themselves and still can't figure it out with the lone wolf energy. So by the full moon, this person's being forced into a spiritual death. They're going to see what it means to be a Scorpio if they want to copy us so bad. Oh, yeah. That's how that was put to me. All right, guys. Um, Let's do the love oracles and then we'll go to all signs. Let's do it. See what you need to know for yourself, what you need to know about the person coming towards you, and then just in general. So what does Scorpio need to know for themselves in this? What do they need to know about the person over here that I don't even know what to call? And <laughs> what do we need to know in the, in the general area here in love? And at the bottom, we have got <clears throat> dangers of a lustful relationship. Lust is a tool, desire, a trap. Wield the first, you can take someone's soul, phone to the second, they can take yours. So someone thinks they're playing a game with you, Scorpio. That's what this is. That's the, that's the energy I'm picking up on. Someone's playing a game with you. They want to see if it works, whatever this little manipulation tactic is. So I'm thinking, too, that's probably why we had the whole annoyance at the beginning of the reading. Yep, take a romantic trip. It doesn't matter who you are going with. It's who you have beside you. Some of you are moving or traveling with. Reflect on your actions. Time decides who you meet in your life. Your heart decides who you want in your life. And your behavior decides who stays. So you've got one person, I feel, that wants to plan life out with you. And you've got one person who's, like, trying to manipulate you back into an old mindset. Yeah. Let's look at this person here. Get courage and dare. Being deeply loved by someone gives you strength while loving someone deeply gives you courage. And then we get to forbidden love. A love that can last a long time but hurts you the most. See what I'm saying? I knew it was them trying to pull you away from this new venture, your new love, Ace of Cups. And then we've got happy marriage. The best romance is inside marriage. The finest love stories come after the wedding, not before. Mm -hmm. Get it, Scorpio. Ooh. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this part of the reading. Let's go over and look at all signs. Not bad, Scorpio. All right, Scorpios. Thank you to my time stampers. Sending you lots of love. You guys are the best. I love, love, love you. I just like to shuffle in front of you guys. So you know they're not predetermined. Not that I care, but for the trolls anyways, but for you guys, you know. That's how this all started. <laughs> okay. What's coming towards Scorpio with all of the zodiacs? Oh, future focus. I'm devoted to returning to you. I'm starting to feel ho helpful. Oh, no, hopeful about the future because I see you being a big part of it, Aries. Ugh. Chit chats and hidden tweets. So yeah, this is the person stalking you on social media and wants to love bomb you. Charmer and over the top. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Mm -mm. Leo, 
I'm working on my divine feminine side. So this is someone that knows they need to soften up around the edges if you're dealing with a Leo, but they have troubles ahead and they know it. For what? Suffering and silence. They're hiding the pain. So if you're dealing with a Leo, they are trying to get in touch with their divine feminine and they're having a hard time. So they're going through hell. If you're dealing with a Sag, they talk a lot of shit, unable to control, and has overwhelming need to share false or misleading info, overindulging and overconsumption of personal narratives that are not true. Wow. With quick reply. So someone is like lying to you through messages if you're dealing with a Sag. Healing work, healing wounds, and opening up again. So if you're healing right now and licking your wounds, don't listen to this person. Even if they are quick replying, they've got someone right next to them in the bed. Aquarius. Self-love, learning to forgive oneself and others, healing their inner child with shadow work, recognizing the triggers of that that affected them from moving forward. So Aquarius is looking pretty good. I don't know about these fire signs. Though. Shocking. Yeah. Stringing along, dragging it out. Plan B. So this is someone that was dragging out the relationship in the past and they're about to hit you up. You're going to be shocked that this person's been trying to do the work to come back toward you. <laughs> Libra and Scorpio. Settling. Ooh. Unsatisfies. It feels alone well with someone. Your wants, needs, and desires are being unchronically met. Accepting less than what you deserve. So this Libra knew that you shouldn't have accepted what they were giving you. Yeah. Room service. Do not disturb. So this could have been like Low vibrational hooking up. They will return. Not over. Temporary breakup. Um, yeah. I'm getting linking up behind the scenes here. And it's just something wasn't for you, Scorpio. And they're trying to come back. Scorpio to Gemini. Soulmate. I feel you are my equal. You make me want to be a better person. Not just for you, but also for myself. You challenge me to change and grow. Good. With hard to figure out. Yeah. But they feel like you're their soulmate, Scorpio, and making the effort, working things out, and doing the work. So they are. You can believe a Gemini. Hm. Wow. <laughs> All right. For the first time ever, right? Ugh. Okay. Capricorn and Scorpio, we have unsent messages. I really want to tell you how I feel, but it, is it too late? Will you understand what I'm trying to say to you or will you misinterpret my messages? I'd rather not say anything at all. So yeah, did you notice how I started talking? It was kind of like a ditzy valley girl. Some of you might be dealing with that here. Mm -hmm. And no, I don't usually talk like that unless I'm making a joke. And lunch break work affairs. This could have been someone you worked with or had an affair with or they want that with you. They just can't tell you how. And making it official, getting serious, no game. So this person's going to come forward if you're dealing with a Capricorn. They want to make it official. Scorpio and a Taurus, we've got deceit. I don't even know why I'm lying to myself about the way I feel about you. I may act as if I don't care, but deep down I know it's because I care too much and it makes me very afraid. Yes, Taurus can be a stubborn energy. Also stuck. High maintenance. And thinking of you, daydreaming, missing you. So they like that you take good care of yourself. They do feel like you're high maintenance. They're definitely not. This Taurus is not high maintenance at all. Um, and they're insecure, so they're working on it. Scorpio and a Virgo. Forgiveness. I'm seeking your forgiveness. Even if I can't utter the words, I'm trying to also forgive myself for treating you unfairly, but I'm hoping I can quiet my guilt. Ooh. With reminders. Ooh. This Virgo cannot let you go here. Trying to score. Purely sexual. No serious intention. So this Virgo feels like they've always tried to get sex from you and they're reminded of that. And now they feel like you're their twin and they want forgiveness. I just seen that. Acknowledging your feelings of that in your twin. Hmm. So they're waking up to spirituality. Cancer, you have charismatic Casanova. <laughs> Scorpio, watch out for a Cancer. It says, I don't understand our connection and the way I feel when I'm with you. I'm not ready for whatever this is. I can't handle this right now. I'd rather not think about it. Both energies are like that today, huh? Addicted. Yeah, they got pill addictions and shit. And they're sexually in sync. Great sex, sexual desire. So they're, they may even be addicted to sex pills, but I'm getting this as a pill popper insecure person and they just want to have sex. It's not good for you if you're dealing with the cancer right now. Just don't, okay? Don't. Um, they're also addicted to sex. Okay. They have a sex addiction. Scorpio and a Pisces. Balancing. I'm trying to balance the scales of my life and of our connection. I took from you more than you were able to give and I used you for my own benefit. 
I now understand this was unhealthy and unfair to you. I'm sorry. This could have been one of the people doing magic I just heard. And you're going to see their backfire. They're going to wish they wouldn't have said what they said because now they're regretting it. I don't know why Spirit said that, but they did. And then we got daydreaming. Mm. And rushing into love, not wasting time, quick commitment. So yeah, they might have been trying to create a muck here with their thoughts. Trying to manifest ill will. I don't like it. And trying to rush in. Mm -mm. Okay, Scorpio on Scorpio. Wordless. There's so much for me to tell you, but I'm unable to express myself in a rational way, so I'd rather keep quiet. You know we can get like that, Scorpio. You know we can get like that sometimes. Like, shit. I have to say it. No, I can't say it. And I think that's why a lot of the time <clears throat> they do look at us as Libras. I know it has something to do with astrology and all that, but we are about justice and fairness. And sometimes it is hard for us to keep our mouth shut. <laughs> look, returning. <laughs> and then we got avoiding and escapism, not facing reality. Depression. Excuse me. Um, Yeah, this person is scared, but they want to come forward and they're actually avoiding it. Mm-hmm. They're scared, Scorpio. Mm -hmm. At the bottom of the deck, we have cosmic love. Connected in the 5D, regardless if disconnected in the 3D. Intense or strong feelings that they feel are everlasting, powerful, or otherwise indescribable. Family ties. Takes each other for granted. Stops learning from, a, from one another. Stuck spiritually. Helps each other grow, not only as individuals, but also as spiritual beings. So it's, what are we going to be? Are we going to have family ties or not? Are we going to help each other grow or not? And then we got distance. Even with this distance, I know we're never truly apart. We had an instant connection that we can ne that can never be matched. I'll travel the world to get closer to you. Some of you are moving across seas. Okay, like, are you moving to Italy, France? Where are you going? Because you're getting the jackpot. And I think you're hitting the road with this good news, Scorpio. Can I come? Take me with you, should it? <laughs> Take me with you. All right, so it says infatuation. I don't know if this was love or if I was in love with the idea of being in love. Our connection was all too consuming, and I can't wrap my head around it. Well, be cosmic then, because Scorpio's got other bigger fish to fry, I feel. Oh, boy, we got caught. Someone's getting caught. Oh, shit. Mm, mm, mm. Family ties, both acting like brats. These could be kids. The kids are acting like brats this week, you guys. Summer school. Send them to summer school. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> we got love is in the air with distance. So yeah, I feel like you are creating distance between you and these energies. You're building your family or you're building this relationship you've been looking for. You've caught people up in the shit that they've been trying to put you in. And you did. You created distance and now you're getting what you want. And these could even be a karmic couple here. So then it says, wants their cake and they eat it too. Always fighting and the cover up. Intuitive insights. So we have seen the shit coming. Mm-hmm. Big babies. Yes, I was reading the card. <laughs> I wasn't just making that up, Scorpio. I was reading the cards. All right. Let's take a look at this deck. It says, not certain yet. Unsure of desires and confusion. But someone is catching this person either looking at you, watching you. I don't know. It's kind of funny, though. <laughs> is that their mom? Like, what the hell? What is that? It looks like someone's mom or grandma. I'm not going to lie. Weird. Like, someone might be living with their mom. I don't know. Um, secret admirer. Secretly watching secret feelings. So, yeah, this could be a karmic couple or your ex here. And then we got life partner. Future marriage. The one union. You're meeting someone while traveling, traveling with the love of your life. I don't know, but this is awesome. And you're getting rid of people that are like this, Scorpio. Like, yeah. Can't move on, soulmate bond, perfect match. Someone wanted to dilute the truth when it came to their feelings for you, when the gates were open. Mm-hmm. That's how Spirit's putting it. So it says, needing closure, reliving the past, drawn together, harmony, support, and the perfect match, compatible, mutual desire. So I feel like it's a difference between a soulmate and a twin flame this week. It's like you've, you're have you done learning your lessons through your twin who hasn't changed or grown or evolved. And you're going towards your soulmate. Because you're, you're spiritually graduated in some form, Scorpio. Like, damn. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I love, love, love you. Bye.